Hi everyone, my name is Danea and I'm from the Long Beach Public Library. Welcome to today's special toddler time where I'll be doing our story time in English and Tagalog. This is in honor of Asian Pacific Islander American Heritage Month. So let's get started. For today, our first word is good morning. Can you say good morning in English? Good morning. And now we're going to say it in Tagalog. We say it, Magandang Umaga. Again, let's do it again. Magandang Umaga. That says, good morning. So when you wake up and you want to say a good morning to somebody in Tagalog, we go, Magandang Umaga. Good morning. Now, can we all put out our arms and wave our hands? And this is a sign we say, hello. So we can always sing our, this is the way we wave hello, and I'll show you how to say hello in Tagalog afterwards. So let's start waving, and we're going to do, this is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello, 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 hello. Hello, everyone. And now, when you want to say hello in Tagalog, you say, Kumusta? Again, let's do it again. Say, hello. Kumusta? Let's say it in Tagalog. Kumusta? Very good. That says, hello. Okay. So now we'll be doing a song with head, shoulders, and toes, but we're going to do it in Tagalog. And in Tagalog, they do it a little bit different. We go backwards so which is really fun so usually when we do head shoulders knees and toes we go head shoulders knees and toes instead we're gonna go toes knees shoulders and head okay so let's point out our body parts in english we got our toes our knees our shoulders our head and now we're going to do this in tagalog so we're gonna go pa -a, Tohod, balikat, ulo. Okay, let's do it again. Our, our toes, we say paa. Our knees, we go tohod. Our shoulders is balikat. And our head is ulo. Okay, so now we're going to sing it in English and then we'll sing it in Tagalog, okay? So it goes my toes my knees my shoulders my head my toes my knees my shoulders my head my toes my knees my shoulders my head toes knees shoulders and head okay so now we're gonna do this in tagalog okay so we're gonna sing it twice okay Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Toes, knees, shoulders, and head. Okay, you ready it again? Okay, this is really fun, huh? Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Toes, knees, shoulders, and head. Okay, let's sing it in English and in Tagalog one more time. My toes, my knees, my shoulders, my head. My toes, my knees, my shoulders, my head. My toes, my knees, my shoulders, my head. Toes, knees, shoulder, and head. Okay, let's do it in Tagalog. Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Pa a tohod balikat ulo. Toes, knees, shoulders, and head. That was really fun. And now it's time for us to listen to our special guest reader. 
She has a very fun book, and I hope you guys have fun listening to her. So let's get on over and see who our special guest reader is. I'm Miss Kathy, and I'm a librarian here at the Billie Jean King Main Library. So today we're going to be reading a book called My First Book of Tagalog Words, an ABC rhyming book of Filipino language and culture by Liana Romulo, illustrated by Jaime Laurel. So let's get started. A is for Anak, which isn't my name, but that's what Mama calls me to say my child would be sort of the same. B is for Butiki, a house lizard, that's all. It climbs on the ceiling from where it could fall. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen a lizard like that before? C is for Champorado, chocolate and rice porridge, believe it or not. I have it for breakfast. It's best when it's hot. And I like to put milk on top too. D is for dahon, leaves rustling coolly in the heat on trees in our garden next to mangoes, heavy and sweet. E is for ewan. That's what we say when we don't know the answer by the end of the day. F is for Filipino. That's what I am. I was born in the Philippines. That's me in the pram. G is for galing. Always so nice to hear a word of praise or approval. It brings me good cheer. <gasps> what are they playing? Looks like they're playing soccer, huh? Do any of you play soccer? My kids play soccer. They love it. H is for hati. A word mama uses at meals because it means to share half with my sister who squeals. I is for ibon, a bird in the sky high up above, a cute little duckling or maybe a dove. J is for jeepneys, miniature buses plying the street. They're noisy and colorful. I think they're neat. K is for kumot, my favorite blanket warm in my bed, and then there's a pillow to cradle my head. L is for Lola, who loves me most of all. She's my grandmother. She comforts me when I fall. Do any of you have your Lolas around? I love my Lola. M is for Mejas, pulled snugly over my toes. I have green ones and white ones and a pair with rainbows. N is for naku. Oh, just like, oh no, you'd exclaim if you broke something precious or lost in a game. Ay, naku. Does your family say that? My family says that all the time. O is for hospital, where my sister was born. I brought her a toy, a bright yellow unicorn. P is for pancit. Oh, noodles, my favorite dish. It's nice with pork, beef, or chicken, but please not with fish. Q is for Quezon, president during the Second World War. Overlooking Quezon City is a monument to him, therefore. R is for relo, a timepiece of any kind. So we're always on schedule and never run behind. S is for salamat. That's what we say when we are grateful. It's the polite way. T is for tahimik. Shh, quiet, mama says to me while praying in church or reading in the library. U is for umaga the end of the night when mama kisses me good morning and dark becomes light. V is for vegan, an old northern town with Spanish style mansions and beautiful furniture renowned. W is for voila, meaning absent or none. When I wanted a cookie, Yaya said voila, not even one. X is for x-ray, just like in English we say, 
but in proper Tagalog, it's written X-ray. Y is for Yaya, my nanny so sweet. She loves me like a mother with a tenderness so complete. And Z is for zipper, a word we hear every day, but in Tagalog, it's zipper, we say. Thanks everybody for joining me today. Um, I had so much fun reading this book and I hope you can find it in the library someday. I'm gonna turn it back over to Miss Danea. Bye everyone. That was a really great book that was read by Kathy. Thank you, Kathy, for reading to us. And I hope you guys enjoyed listening to her story. So now let's count to 10 in English and Tagalog. So let's put out our arms and let's wave our hands and make a fist. And we're gonna count to 10 in English. Okay, so we're gonna start. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's how we count to ten in English. Now let's count to ten in Tagalog. Put out your arms, make a fist. And we're gonna, I'm gonna go slow, okay? We're gonna go isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anin, pito, walo, Sham sampo. Okay, so that's how we counted 10 in Tagalog. So let's do that again. We're going to count in English and then we're going to count in Tagalog again, okay? Let's put out our arms, make a fist, and we're going to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's wave and make a fist. And now we're going to count in Tagalog, okay? Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito, walo, siyam, sampo. That's 10 in Tagalog. You guys did a really great job. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And we'll be doing the same thing. So hopefully you guys will practice this and we can do this very easily next time. If you enjoyed this story time, you should check out our other programs that we have this month for Asian Pacific Islander American Heritage Month. We have a great lineup and I hope you guys will enjoy watching and learning new things. And I have one last word for you and that is a word, thank you. In Tagalog, we say salamat. So if you ever want to say thank you to somebody in Tagalog, how do we say it? Salamat. And now it's time for us to go. And so we're gonna do our little wave. And we're gonna do, this is the way we wave goodbye. Okay, we're gonna start. This is the way we wave goodbye. Wave goodbye, wave goodbye. This is the way we wave goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Salamat.